Dr. Preeti Parekh. I'm an Associate Professor at UCL. I'm also uh, the academic lead for Engineers Without Borders. I've also set up a research center, Engineering for International Development. It was actually my father who inspired me to become an engineer. So as a teenager, um, I used to accompany him on site visits, and specifically a project where he was installing infrastructure in a slum. And I was amazed by the transformation I saw uh, with day-to-day -day lives of people where they had access to water and women had more time in their lives, and that inspired me to become an engineer. I was studying uh, my doctorate at the University of Cambridge and I started to get involved in the branch there with a view of trying to share some of my experiences from India. But what really inspired me was this kind of wave or tsunami of kind of passion for engineering. And I met and I made a lot of really uh, like-minded friends who were really passionate about changing the world. Engineers Without Borders has been extremely influential. At UCL, I'm now the academic lead. And at that point, I realized that we have this uh, kind of pool of really interested students who really love engineering and can see the value for society. But there was a gap between that interest and what they could do with, your, with their careers. So I set up a dedicated master's program for those group of students who wanted to do a master's in engineering for international development on how to apply engineering skills to developmental challenges. But it was actually EWB which led me down this pathway of thinking about uh, what are the skill set gap in industry and how can um, the tsunami be kind of directed towards that. We only have one planet with limited resources, a growing population, and as engineers, since we design infrastructure, we build cities, engineers have a fundamental role to play in thinking about societal impact and environmental resources, and we are very well placed to deliver this challenge. Engineers need to be technically sound to deliver solutions, but they need to be able to interact with governments, with stakeholders, with local communities, i.e. people who can employ mixed methods, do quantitative stuff, modeling stuff, but can also do kind of qualitative stuff where they go and speak to communities so that the infrastructure they design is appropriate. Thinking about engineering and how it can serve our planet, if you're thinking about applying engineering solutions in resource challenge settings, the solutions have to be better and they have to be smarter than the mainstream cities. And we have to be much better at uh, providing solutions which are lean, frugal, and which are appropriate, and thinking about what is the impact we have on society.